So I've been working on a little project. With all the AI tools floating around lately, I wanted to see what was possible. Take a picture, a face, and bring it to life. That's me, just a regular selfie. The goal? Make it move. So I got to work. Now, if you're even a little familiar with the world of Harry Potter, you probably know where I'm going with this. If you're not, well, stick around and you'll see. Now, there's really not a single tool out there for what I want to do, so I had to chain a few scripts together. And eventually, I found a setup that worked well enough. Then came the animation tests, and surprisingly, it looked pretty good. Now that I had a basic program, I didn't want this just to be on my laptop. I wanted it to live inside an actual frame. Something that maybe I could put on display. So, I started thinking about hardware. Now, this was going to be a challenge, but I had some ideas. I made a list, bought the parts, and hoped I wouldn't screw it up, which I did. But I'm not going to show you that part. The core is a Raspberry Pi. It runs a Python script that plays animation clips. But the whole point is that this isn't a video that's just being played on repeat. Each animation is randomly selected and at random intervals. That's what makes it feel alive. And of course, each animation is generated using AI. The whole thing is stitched together in such a way as to avoid looking robotic or repetitive. Now, I'm not a woodworker or anything, but I managed to carve out the enclosure and somehow got the screen to actually fit. Then I cut up some foam board to clean up the inside, hide the wires, make it look presentable. As for the plexiglass, I gave it a coat of matte acrylic. It adds this subtle texture like brush strokes, kind of makes it uh, look like a painting. The best part is the glass slides in and out of the frame, so you've got options. It's not a product yet, but it's real, and a little bit creepy, and I kind of love it. Now, I have big plans for this. I'm talking full-on interactive portraits. But for now, just this. If you're interested, you can follow the journey at etherframes.com.